Hey everybody, welcome back. So this is another one of my movie poster collection series. This one on the letter R. First up is the one sheet for David Cronenberg's Rabbit. This is definitely one that uh, you can kind of find here and there. I tend to be a bit pricey and I think uh, this one probably no different when I got it, uh, but I remember getting a good deal on it. Next up is for Race with the Devil. This is uh, definitely, if you've never seen it, I highly recommend checking it out from the mid 70s. Plus I just love that poster artwork. Next one is actually one of the very early ones I got a long time ago. And that is for Raging Bull. This is an interesting one. I got it pretty cheap at the time because uh, one of the corners is sort of crumpled a bit but because I was just sort of really starting to collect but like actively collect posters at the time I thought it was actually a cool one to have early on despite uh, the condition but again I also got it pretty cheap next one one of my favorite films and that is for Raiders of the Lost Ark this is one I had wanted for the longest time finally got one a couple of years ago and yeah this is just, just one of my favorite films so happy to have the poster this is definitely one I will be getting framed and displayed somewhere and a cool one that I lucked out on one time is actually from the re-release of Raiders of the Lost Ark, which uh, has that very, very cool alternate artwork to it with all the characters on it. And this is also a 30 by 40, which means uh, it's printed on that slightly thicker paper stock. Next one is for Brian De Palma's Raising Cain, uh, definitely a very underrated film. Next up is one that uh, I don't think flies too well uh, in current day, but I, ha I still think is absolutely hilarious. And that's Eddie Murphy's Raw. This one came in actually a lot with a couple of other uh, Eddie Murphy posters, which all of which I'm very happy to have because I'm a big fan of his. Next one is for Gary Sherman's uh, Raw Meat, aka Deathline, and this is uh, also one I had signed by Gary Sherman uh, one of the times I met him. I've mentioned how many times I love this film, and yes, I do have the original one sheet of Rawhead Rex. <laughs> How could I not have the one sheet for Rawhead Rex? And I also have the re-release poster from the more recent uh, 4K restoration of it as well. Next one is a cool one to have, and that is for Reanimator. Very, very happy to get this. Uh, I got it at a convention or something uh, a couple years ago. Next one is for one of those uh, Alfred Hitchcock re-release posters from 1983, uh, mentioned on a uh, previous video. And this one is for Rear Window, which is actually my favorite Alfred Hitchcock Hitchcock film and one of actually my top favorite uh, films of all time. Next up is the one sheet for Repo, the genetic opera, and I do have some signatures on it from a couple different people. And for those of you who don't know, because I don't know how many times I've actually brought it up in a video, I was actually in uh, a Repo shadow cast uh, several years ago. For those of you wondering, I played Luigi, which is uh, Bill Mosley's character. Next up is actually one of my favorite Disney films. It's one that I grew up with as a kid. There are like really three Disney things that have a very special meaning for me. And this is one of them, that's for the Rescuers. And this is actually a one of those large posters for the Rescuers. This is one of those uh, 40 by 60. And the thing is, you know, they're so big, it's like, what do you do with them? <laughs> You know, I have a couple 40 by 60s and I admit I have no clue what to do with them. And also have the lobby card set for the rescuers, which is very, very cool. Um, it also has uh, nine cards. Usually lobby card sets are uh, eight. And this actually has nine because it does actually have a title card. And I do have uh, the Mondo poster, which uh, they did, I think, two years ago or something. And this is an interesting one that um, I actually didn't even know existed. And I found this um, double feature that was released, ironically, of two of of my favorite Disney things, and that is The Rescuers and Mickey's Christmas Carol. I mean, really the only thing missing is the Disney uh, Legend of Sleepy Hollow story, and then it would basically be like, that's my, those are like my top three favorite Disney things. But what was very cool is eventually I actually found, which again, I didn't know, they also did a lobby card set, which has a nice mix of stuff from The Rescuers and obviously from Mickey's Christmas Carol. Next one is a bit of a sad one. That is for Reservoir Dogs, and unfortunately, I found out years later, it's not an original. I got it a uh, long time ago. Eventually found out more details on how to determine whether or not you have a uh, reprint or an original. And even though I have a very good reprint, it is still a reprint and not original. So yeah, you know, it's unfortunately it happens. However, I do have uh, two original ones uh, from the UK release. One of them, uh, they did these character posters for Reservoir Dogs. First up is Mr. White, which is Harvey Keitel posters. Uh, this is a bit of a smaller poster, but still a very cool one to have. Next one is a Mr. Blonde, which is Michael Madsen's character. And this is uh, huge. <laughs> this is, I forget the exact dimensions, but it is huge. 
and I met Michael Madsen uh, years ago, and I had him sign it. And he, when he, when he saw me unroll it, he like it blew his mind. Next one is definitely one of my most uh, prized posters, and that is for Return of the Living Dead, of which I'm actually even wearing my Return of the Living Dead shirt today. And I have it signed actually almost by everyone. I think the only one I'm missing is Miguel Nunez, actually. So I'm hoping I can get him on it one day. I also need him on my Friday Five poster. And I also have the lobby card set for Return of the Living Dead as well. Next up is for Return of the Living Dead Part 2, which I actually ended up getting in a lot. And I was so happy uh, to get one. Like, this is one I would have gotten on my own. Um, outside of a lot, but even happier to get in a lot. Next one is for Return to Horror High, and this is a case where I actually much prefer the video poster, which is this one, to the one sheet. Next one is probably one of the ultimate false advertising posters, and that's for Revenge of the Dead. Now this is actually uh, for the film Zeter, which is an Italian giallo, and Revenge of the Dead is the US poster, which has absolutely no, there's no real, there's no zombies or anything in the movie. I mean, you see this poster, and you're like, I want to see that movie. And then you see the movie and it's like, this is nothing like what the poster is promising. Which is a shame because it's actually a good movie. You just can't think of this poster at all when it comes to Zeter. Next up is for uh, one of my favorite comedies and that is Revenge of the Nerds. Uh, and I lucked out and actually got a rolled one um, not too long ago, which was very, very cool. And actually, I think I got it super cheap too, which was even a plus. Next one is for a film I love so much. I think, I'm pretty sure I've uh, talked about it it plenty of times before and that's for Revenge of the Ninja. I have a couple posters for it. First up is the one sheet but this is the uh, 30 by 40 which again is the one that's printed on that sort of slightly thicker paper stock and then next is an alternative poster for Revenge of the Ninja. If I had to guess I think this is the international even though it's printed in the US it's uh, for international use. I think that's what this is for. I do have the insert poster for Revenge of the Ninja. I do also have the lobby card set for Revenge of the Ninja. And then finally, I also have uh, the press kit. So yeah, mad love for Revenge of the Ninja for me. Another one I love, which I've talked about before, because I had to import uh, the Blu-ray for it, and that is for S Sergio Salima's Revolver. Italian film that for some, like I'm just a huge fan of, and like very few people know of it, because it really barely got released back in the day. So this is the Italian one sheet, which I'm very happy to have, because what happened is the distributor actually ran out of money when it was time to actually release the film. So they really didn't have money for advertising. Advertising. So I'm very happy to have uh, one of the one sheets. And again, it's an Italian poster, so it's huge. It's, you know, 47 by 63. And I also have the French poster for Revolver, as well as the Spanish poster. And I do have the US one sheet for Revolver, which was released under the title Blood in the Streets. Next up is for the movie Road Games, this is the US one sheet, which has a very, very cool image on it. And I actually do have the video poster for it as well, which actually uh, uses a similar image, but obviously with more of a J Jamie Lee Curtis's face on it. Next one is for arguably probably one of the best action films ever made. That's for The, the Road Warrior, uh, which I was very happy to finally get a poster for this. One I wanted for a long time, and then I was able to get it uh, not too long ago. Next one is for Robocop, and this is key on a couple of th reasons. One, uh, it's rolled, which is nice. And two, I got it super cheap because up in the corner, it actually had some water damage. But the nice thing is that the water damage is still sort of within the water white border of the poster. So I didn't care. I just, I really wanted the Robocop poster. I think I paid 20 bucks for it. If you try and get like this poster now, I think over a hundred or something. Next one is for Rolling Thunder. Uh, definitely, I think it was actually one of the early Scream Factory releases too that they did. Love that poster. And definitely, uh, I'm glad I got it when I did because I think the value in this poster really jumped, I think after uh, that Blu-ray release. Next one is for the infamous The Room. Uh, yes, uh, the Tommy Wiseau film, which which I do have autographed by Tommy Wiseau. I have met him. I've actually met him a couple times and by Greg Sestero as well. So very, very uh, interesting one to have in my collection. Next one is another one in the Alfred Hitchcock re-releases and that is for Rope, which I think is a very underrated Hitchcock film. Next up is for Runaway, a film I really hope gets a Blu-ray release. This is one that it's like, why hasn't this been released on Blu-ray yet? And then finally for the letter R is Running Scared, what is one of my favorite 
favorite buddy cop films. Uh, I don't know. Actually, you know what? It might be my favorite buddy cop film. I don't know. I'll say one of my favorites just because I think I'm forgetting one, but yeah, I think it might be my favorite. And what's cool about the poster that I have is in the like mid 80s, um, MGM actually did a small run of some of their posters on a very high gloss stock. It's a very uh, unique paper stock. I think I have three total from back then. I know another one I have is uh, To Live and Die in LA, which I'll get to in the tease, spoiler. But yeah, the Running Scared one is one, uh, which means a lot because it, again, it's also rolled. And I do have the lobby card set for Running Scared. And while I don't have the press kit, I actually do have the stills from Running Scared, uh, which is very cool. There's actually quite a few of them. So like here's some of the stills and then and here's a couple more. A lot, a lot of cool images. I actually like that one of the stills is also uh, the picture that they use on the posters. So that's it for the letter R. Definitely a lot, some of my favorites are in this one, but definitely let me know your thoughts on which ones you think I should keep and which ones I should probably end up selling off. Keep an eye out for the next one, which will obviously be the letter S. That is gonna be a super long one because I got a lot of S ones, but a lot of ones that I have to admit are really, really cool. And yes, my Star Wars posters will be in that one. So as always, thank you for watching and I will see you on the next one.